Hey everyone, welcome back to London. Still making our way, slowly but surely, up towards our destination, whatever that might be, the entrance to the station. But really, we're just exploring and looting on the way. And shooting lots and lots and lots of people and creatures and whatever we can to get as much experience as possible because that's what really matters to me. It's really just a nice backdrop for me to shoot things. That's kind of what Fallout 4 is. What? Speaking of... No. Not like this. I quite like this gun. That's how it's done. Kira's story is pretty sad, actually. Do not enter. Watch where you step. Those couple three two rounds were the straw that broke my back, I guess, eh? I am carrying some extra crap. Uh, I don't care about this. We can drop it. Oh, the Stealth Blade Combat Knife though I kind of want. That's the best mod you can get on that. And I don't know if I'll invest too much in the melee stuff. So, for crafting it is. So it'd be kind of nice to have that. Though I think the um, the fast animations are busted in this for some reason. Unless that's been patched. Let me check it. Okay, this one's okay. I tried a fast, uh, quote-unquote, fast weapon before. It said it was fast anyway, and it, did, it was like a medium speed. So, now, other thing is, like... I'm not actually sure if this um, Slayer perk is working properly. Uh, yeah, this one right here. I'm not sure if this is working properly or not. Because it doesn't really feel faster. I mean, I'll take it. The next one, let me see. It doesn't really feel any faster to me. I mean, maybe... Let me try the medium one. Okay, that... That yeah. might actually be faster, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Not really sure. Okay, anyway. That's a crazy good perk if it works, but I'm just not sure it actually works. We just found, yeah, the electronics store. Let's take a peek, shall we? Where's the entrance at? Was it here? I didn't see a door here. Uh, here? Huh, okay. No sign or anything. No landmarks other than just the fact that you can go in. Gotta be a hooligan haunt though, right? Just killed a bunch of hooligans outside. I'm gonna assume it's the same in here. Uh, I hear... I hear electronics clanking around. So maybe never mind. I guess that would make sense with it being an electronics store, yeah? Okay. Oh, we got a bunch of, um... Missile... Cheap charges. Those have got to go. They're too heavy. Plus, I just don't see a reason to ever use a missile launcher again when I have my current weapon. What? That's some bullshit. That guy's just like, oh, hey. You're dead. I was at full health, too. I'm telling you guys, those, um... 
construction bots, they shoot railway rifle things, they can just one-shot you really easy. He, that was an arm shot, too. He just hit me in the arm, and it was instant death. Do I have, um... No, let's see if I had weakness or anything going by. I don't. Yeah, that was nuts. Oh, hold on, I gotta... Stand up here so I can see properly. This is the worst part, I think, of the uh, chameleon... I wasn't going to worry about stealthing around because it's kind of slow and stuff, but I guess uh, sort of have to if I don't want to just instantly die. Because these guys just do way too much damage. You know, I'll just get one shot. Kisaru. The heck is a Kisaru? I guess I should have checked that before I took it. That way I would know what it was, but... Eh, oh well. Anything I can make here? Uh, no, never mind. I can't, I can't use it. We're stuck. Animation's broken. Not enough space in a lot of these areas. Get out of the way, Kira. Not enough space in many of these areas to use a workbench properly. This is new music, if I'm not mistaken. Not to leave tracks in all this dust. Okay, well, there was not a lot here, but... Didn't check thoroughly here, I guess, but nah, not much here. Alright, uh, adios, electronic store was fun, I guess, getting some stuff. Yeah, that's it, okay. Fair enough. At least the autosave on the doorway saved me the trouble of going back in time super far. Well, it wouldn't have been that far, because I had just saved before ending the previous episode, but still. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's keep going. North and west-ish. I can't go through here. It's blocked off. This is more east than I want to go, but I guess we got to kind of go around here. Follow the roads, yeah. Oh, crap. Second class. This is not good. Not good at all. <laughs> Here I get the hell out of my way. Okay, got him. Playtime is over. The post boxer came out. Time to bring out the big gun. Got a fortified church over here. Crypt on the green. Hi. Ah, oh, a settler. Settlement? With horses. Yeah, totally a settlement looks like. We got beds in a cooking station in a toilet. And they've even got some crops growing here. Would you look at that? Well met, young one. I am Fru Bisser O'Brien. How may I assist you? Uh 
What's that camera? Ah, this, my friend, is a Hasselfrax Panix. A one-of-a-kind camera, perfect for capturing static art. It is part of my latest project to catalogue the art of Pipsy, the marvellous yet anonymous graffiti artist. You seem like an enterprising person. Would you be interested in helping me? What's the reward? I am a firm believer in a hard day's pay for a hard day's work, my friend. Okay. Who's Pipsy? A graffiti artist who has chosen to remain anonymous. You might have seen their work already. It's eclectic, political, and very hard to miss. All I require is that you take this camera and capture photographs of every Pipsy wall art you can find in London. Bring me 20 photographs and I'll give you 250 tickets. A fair reward, don't you think? Um, where can I find the art? They are spread all over London. I wish I could tell you exactly where to look, but if I knew, I'd do it myself. Okay, uh, can I ask some more questions? What do you do around here? I am an art historian. Not my first job, mind you. I have been a banker, an accountant, and even a street performer. <laughs> I'll be it for only a week. Okay, uh, we'll see ya. Goodbye, my friend. Guess I... Oh, I can't use it? Alright, so this is used by somebody else. Alright. Even got an orchard here. Can't harvest the orchard, though, eh? Doesn't look like it. That'd be kind of cool if they had a whole new crop here. So, this seems... Is this... Actually, a settlement though. It's not really a settlement because it's it's a church icon, so I don't think it's a real settlement. I don't think anyway. I'm pretty sure we can't own this. What's up, mate? You want to trade? Trader Joe, huh? Here's what I've got. Ooh, ammo. Okay, let's see what you got then. 303 is not bad, but it's not that great, really. Let me... Okay, let me look at the weapons here. Is this a scope? Because I need a... Ooh, a scope. Yes, I need a scope on my zap pistol. So maybe I'll get that for the scope on it. Got some random LMGs. Uh, double barrel. Plasma. Is this a plasma? Is it like a missile? I'm not really sure. Pulse grenade could be really nice for robots. Just some random combat shotties. A whole bunch of pistols, and then some random zap. Okay, so the, the weaponry's not that great, but I do want this for the scope, because I'm not really a big fan of the reflex sight on mine. Anything good for the armor here? Doesn't look like it, really. Nothing that great. Hey, okay, decent stuff here. The big thing is the ammo, though, and maybe the junk. Fertilizer is good, too. It's kind of for crafting ammo. You don't have any 5 mil, do you? You have fusion cores. I might buy a fusion core. No 5 mil ammo, unfortunately. Don't really use a 303 that much anymore. Yeah, I could buy, like, one fusion core, and, I mean, that's going to be ammo for just 
ages and ages for my, uh, my zap pistol, so. And this thing, huh? Um, should I maybe... Yeah, let me cancel this and I'll use some chems to get a better deal here. Let's see, what can I do to boost my charisma? Should make sure that I eat and I'm actually not hungry because that can reduce your charisma. Mm, there we go, that's one of them. The vision. Some Dexy too, why not? I could do Excalibur as well. I think I want to save that though. I don't think I need the money that badly. Like I don't need to fleece this guy to make things ridiculously cheap. Just, you know, make it reasonable. That's probably fine as is, honestly. Then do some water here. Okay, let me check now. Let's see. 10 charisma. Very good. Nothing that's lowering charisma, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. What's up, mate? You want to trade? Here's what I've got. Okay. Yeah, reduce the price by half on this thing. Well worth it, I would say. So that's half price. Then we want your effusion core... Uh, just one should do. Like, I'm having trouble even going through one fusion core on this thing, so a second mode would be just crazy. Um, probably can just sell my 32 rounds. Don't think I'll be using those. The rest I might use. The rounds, that is. Uh, let me see. I don't think I'll be using this. I just picked it up because it was a funny item, pretty much. Hmm. This is a weapon. I have no idea... What for? Gonna get rid of it though. Anything I wanna sell here? Maybe, I mean, I do get some things in abundance sometimes. Like, I do have a lot of rat away. Could make up the money there. I'll consider that. Nine mil, probably not gonna get, not gonna use this probably. Don't think I care about it too much. Fusion cells, we don't really use anymore. Cause I use fusion cores instead, yeah. Can always buy more somewhere else, I guess, but it's kind of weighing me down right now. All right, um. Honestly, we have an abundance of tickets. I think I'll probably just say that's good enough. We'll give him a couple tickets. If I can find a weapons workbench, then I can uh, modify and put that on there. Wow, Here we go. That looks so boring. Don't be such a dick, Kira. I want to sneak around and shout "boo" at people. Boo! She really is an odd one. Just think how much more damage I could be doing if I didn't have a companion, guys. How much more I could carry. Wait, do you have a bunch of stuff on you? Got some shinies to hand over. You got a bunch of crap. Yeah, you got a bunch of crap on you. Um, a lot of this stuff I don't think I need. Not sure if that's good or not. All you have is apparel, huh? Okay, anything that's like duplicate, we're gonna get rid of and sell. What's up, mate? You want to trade? No returns. Okay, yeah, all this stuff that's duplicate can go. Cause it weighs a crap ton. Okay. Good enough. So that's the only quest here to go and take some pictures? That's gonna be a pain in the ass, man. For 250 tickets? Hell no. 
it's not worth my time. I mean, the experience is kind of worth it, but honestly, like, I could just be killing stuff and getting to get Savant proc instead. I guess if I bind it, it's not too bad. If I, if I bind the, the camera to a key bind, it's not too terrible, but... Uh, Fallout quests are often a real pain in the ass, unless they're... Unless they're interesting. Getting kind of late in the day here. Six PM. Yeah, I probably should go ahead and sleep for the night. We got a bed right here. It seems foolish to not take advantage. Get a good uh, like ten hours of sleep here, and then it'll be uh, four AM in the morning. Maybe eleven hours. Yeah, five AM should be enough light that we can see by and continue our adventure. Didn't see a water thing around here anywhere, unfortunately. Unless I just missed it. You would think there would be, given that they have the orchard and everything else here, but I don't see a water pump anywhere. Okay, onward we go. Guess we're going this way. Uh, no, we want to go the other way, actually. We want to go, like, around this way, I guess. Follow this road. Like, just go... along this wall until we find a way around the wall. If that makes sense. And what's over here? We got some buildings over here to explore, too. The picture thing is interesting. Um, that's like a Fallout 76 type thing. I hate it in that that game too. Like, it's just it's just annoying to do those quests. That's all. It's just annoying to do them. In 76, it was like you get uh, atoms for doing it, and it's just like, oh god, I don't care that much about getting atoms. Farming cosmetics and stuff, that's why I quit that game, is because that was like the end game was just farming cosmetics, which just seemed really, really boring. Um, Maybe I want to go back out and see if I can go this way. Can I, like, follow the road over here? Take a left up here? Will that work? Hi. Oh, you're a siren tron. Yeah, you guys blow up and give a lot of radiation. No thanks, I'm not gonna kill you. Make that area irradiated for, like, ten years. Yeah, this is going the right way. Yeah, this works. Got a hazard sign here. Is there a way around? It's all blocked off. Somehow I don't think I'm supposed to go around this way. Probably will get stuck over there. Oops, didn't let me jump.
Come on now. Get up there once. I can't back up like if I try backing up it won't let me do it. It's a vast world. Jumping a does let me go. To be found. Yeah. Let's get exploring. Invisible wall. Can't do it. Well, that's dead end, I guess. Um, not really sure how we get around then, unless is there a way? I highly doubt I can go over this. Probably an invisible wall all the way to the sky. Like I I'm sure I yeah, I'm sure I could like do this. Well, well. Interesting. Tunnel coffer, hi. You look like your existence is miserable. I don't think uh, that was how I was supposed to get through there, but, uh, you know, it worked, so. Wanderer shortcut right there. I Wolfies worse, exchange. Oh. Adversaries. Come, comrade. I thought there'd be a vendor in here, I guess not. Strip on bath. I'll teach you to trifle with Kira the Invent. Come on. You're not fooling me. Oh, crumbs. R.I.P. Wolfie. It's a lot of heavy conversation for a guy that just had mental health issues and pissed himself. I'm <laughs> just saying. A lot of extrapolation from that. Oh boy. I'm not reading all these. Some days you just want to shoot things, you know? You guys get it, right? days you're not down to read half an hour's worth of lore. Stomp them! Shoot them! Kill them fucking dead! How did that miss? Come on now. That should not have missed. Have some stuff. Hmm. 
wonder if this is a quest later on. Or if the thing is just around here somewhere. I didn't see anything extra. I didn't see like a, a key card or anything. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of lazy to be spending a whole bunch of time looking for it too. Whatevs. was just a pit stop on the way anyway let's get going i appreciate that the information is there on that terminal i appreciate the work that went into it but even though i appreciate it i'm not going to sit there and read the whole thing because that's a lot of work Ew. it's like red radiation lightning flashes not great all right let's do some uh red x and right away then yeah i hate using right away because it makes you tired but Good? Okay, we're good. Thought you were a ghoul for a second. Almost shot ya. We're almost there. Come, companion. Victory awaits. Yeah. <laughs> Got me around to direct you. Meh, bolstering. Not great. Never heard these called a wheelie bin. I've just always thought of them as bins. Trash bin or bin. But hey, why not? Traders, welcome ahead. Don't let them befuddle you, follower. Are they actually welcome ahead? Because this place looks pretty, pretty dark, and no, I guess they are. Hi. Are you a traitor? Just says tunnel coffer. What was that? Just when I saw a legendary or something. Maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing things. Sucks to not have a mask, I guess. Uh, good luck, you know, here. You probably shouldn't be here, but... Yeah, definitely weren't any traitors over there. Did I reload this thing on accident? I think I did. I've got like half of a fusion core somewhere. That's unfortunate. Hmm, I can't really proceed any further here. Watch the Geiger. Sort of a dead end. Not much here. Oh, I just managed to go around an area somehow, though. Okay. Well, that works.
It looked like it was like a hotel or something at one point. Not anymore though, huh? So the tunnel cough doesn't seem like it's necessarily specifically a pre-war thing because these people had set up this area before. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't set up this area if it was intentionally in a tunnel cough area, right? Like that wouldn't make any sense. So my presumption would be that they set this place up before Tunnel Cough moved in, so for some reason the Tunnel Cough migrated here, so it's not specifically a pre-war thing. It could be a post-war issue as well. It just like killed me instantly though when I got it. These people are, I mean, they look like they're in bad shape, but, I mean, they're surviving. They're just here chilling, so it's not like they're immediately dying from it, right? I don't know. Seems bad to me. Seems rough. Okay, is this like, this is a different area over here. So we want to go up and over here. It's We're not far from our actual destination now. Pretty sure we can actually get there from here. Radiation's terrible, but we can get there. Singsbury local. Getting out of here out of the storm for a second. I hear bugs buzzing. Oh, bum. I can't see now. Oh, famished. Someone's after us. Ooh, magic milk. Very nice. Another famished over there, too. We're tired, too. Had to use that rat away. Any more magic milk around here? That stuff's really good. Gets rid of the reds. You're a dog, too. Unless they also make, like, a dog panting sound as well. Oh, what we got here that I can drop? Actually, all this stuff, unfortunately. Uh, I don't really need this. Or that, for that matter. Ooh, look at that. Just like scarf some food and water here real quick. Go buy the heavy stuff and just eat some heavy stuff right here. Have have some of that. Have some of that. Uh do that too, sure. What am I affected with right now? Fatigue, lethargy, eh, whatever. How many antibiotics do I have, though? Like, if I got a lot, there's no reason to go... I got a lot of antibiotics. There's no reason to not get rid of my diseases. If I've got that many, you know? Huh, not here. And where the heck? Did they... Sp oh no, it's over here. Okay. See, did they spawn like inside the walls or something? That happens sometimes.
Yeah, I think it's just them making the panting dog noise. It's like they're a combination dog, Deathclaw. Well, audio's famished. Okay, more facts. Ooh, look at that. A bunch of ion brew. Yeah, I'll be taking that. We were tired. Not anymore. Okay. Quick, easy dungeon. I mean, easy if you can easily kill, you know, giant famished and stuff. Famished aren't too bad, though. They're like, they're like really easy death claws. I guess they do a bunch of damage is what I've heard, but, you know, just kill them before they kill you. It's kind of the rule on survival mode anyway for pretty much everything. Maybe we'll have gotten lucky and the storm will have passed. Or not. Yeah, okay, I'm going to use more Rad X then. Yeah, I don't think I have any more Rad X going on now. Let me check. Uh, hard to see, but yeah, I don't see any Rad X. Okay. Some more Rad X it is. Okay, are we going the right way here? No. This way. Right over here, actually. Angel Underground Station. Hmm. Interesting that the, the, the entrance is here amidst this hellscape, you know. All right, go through the station. Is explosive because they look explosive. No, they're not. Oh, that's Kira. Oi, oi, wayfarer. You certainly look to be having fun in there. Is your throat not feeling a little? <clears throat> Scratchy. Ah, I see. You've got yourself a gas mask. Very innovative. Though I shouldn't be so surprised. It is you, after all. Yep, it's me. Hey, five mil rounds. Infected blank clone. The visuals in here are really cool. I'm going to assume going into that would be a really bad idea.
should probably save. I haven't been through here, or I haven't uh, saved in a long time. Lots of fungus here. The fungus among us. Of course, the second I start stealthing, there's like no reason to stealth. That's how it would go. A machine gun turret. Goodbye. Another one. This equipment is for now then when we last met I opened the door to give you a sporting chance well Wayfarer the game is afoot and I plan to win so this door stays closed Seems I won't be answering those questions after all. Be seeing you. Jerk. But of course we're going to find a way around, right? Because we're the Wayfarer and all that. This is where I came in at? Can't remember. Doesn't really say where we're supposed to go. Wait, where am I even on this map? Right here. Uh, I think we're going the right way because, uh, yeah, I haven't. It's it's grayed out over here, so yeah, I haven't gone this way. All right, fair enough. Don't know if I should be ingesting anything I find around here, but, uh, seems okay. Yeah, okay, go this way, got it. I guess I can go this. Can I can I go in this? Will I just die instantly? It seems like a really bad idea. Can I just go along the wall instead? Or is this a dead end? Bit of a hoarder, are you? What's dead end? Could go over. 
I really doubt that's how they designed it, though. Seems, like, really unlikely, you know? Now I'm stuck. Okay. I really don't think I should be touching that stuff with my feet. Seems like a really bad idea. where I came in at. Okay, so maybe off to the right here. Nothing that way. But I haven't explored all the way over here yet, looks like. over here. I hate it when exploration becomes the enemy, you know what I mean? Oh, does it just like it makes the area you've been in, like, darker, I guess. Like when it's out of vision range or something. Maybe that's how it works. I actually had gone this way, because I thought I went this way already. So is it this way, then? This must be the right way. Okay, it was this way anyway. I was just, yeah, going the wrong way. This feels correct. Kira, can you... You don't make a very good doorway. Ah, you're not supposed to be in there. You're quite the thorn in my paw, aren't you? classified as stealing. Could just be a bug, too. This looks like a uh, vault entrance, huh? Well, there's, like, tubes around here, like the one that we came from. Angel Conscript. Wow, he's got glowing red eyes. Interesting. I think maybe this thing does... Um, hmm, that's not bad. Maybe this thing does explosive damage too and it hits like multiple body parts. Seems really, really strong. Nowhere near as strong as my main weapon, of course, but still very strong. To have a peek around. <laughs> Trying to build up a vats crit here. They were doing cloning and experiments. I think they were, like, trying to build a better... better, stronger human or something. Something like that. 
so a blank clone might just be like one they haven't given any memories or anything to? I don't know. All right, we got to actually read this. HR log one. This month's been adequate for the HR department. We've delivered on all subject requests. The scientists haven't once run out of street urchins or vagrants to experiment with. On the other hand, we've struggled to actually find new scientists. We have to resort to recruiting the, the more sane variety. Hmm, okay. Director managed to snatch up scientists from other labs. They were not pleased about it. This place has a reputation, even in angel circles. Their concerns are unfounded. The rules here are lax, as intended. It's a researcher's dream. Managed to collect a new batch of degenerates, scavengers. I think no one will miss them. They even had a child with them and a ghoul. The DNA engineers will be pleased. One of the new scientists is working on a new cloning technique. The director says it has potential. I've moved a security clone to his room. I wouldn't want the brain doctors to get hold of him. Director has been displeased with me ever since those two subjects escaped. Like most humans, he is blind to reason. The value of the scientists is much greater than that of the subjects. How to stand out whilst being a clone. I've somehow managed to input my own thoughts into this terminal. Huh. I wonder how that happened. So whilst I'm here, I've got quite the tale to share about the peculiarities of being a clone. There's a cl there's Being a clone isn't quite as straightforward as you might think. There's a fair share of quirks and challenges that come with the territory. To start with, there's a perpetual identity crisis. Picture waking up one day and realizing you're not entirely unique. You're essentially a duplicate of someone else. It's a bit of a blow to the, to the old self-esteem, I must say. But on the bright side, it does provide a convenient scapegoat for any mishaps. It wasn't me, it was my clone. Then there's the ongoing issue of mistaken identity. People are forever confusing us with our originals. Weren't you just here, they'll ask, as if we're interchangeable? It's like living in a perpetual state game of guess who, except instead of trying to guess who's who, everyone's hoping they don't accidentally duplicate themselves. But perhaps the most frustrating aspect is the constant comparison. You're not as funny as your original, they'll say, or why can't you be more like him? It's disheartening to say the least. We're cloned, we clones are simply doing our best with the hand we're being dealt which, truth be told, isn't much. But isn't, it's not all gloom and doom. Being a clone does have the perks. Need a day off? Just send your clone to work in your place, the ultimate sick day. And if you ever require a spare organ, well, you've got your very own built-in donor at your disposal. It's like having a personal organ bank, minus the interest rates. So, while being a clone certainly has its challenges, we stick together and make the most of it. Who knows, perhaps one day we'll receive the recognition we deserve. Perhaps there will even be a clone appreciation day. Until then, we'll continue navigating the, our peculiar existence one identical day at a time. And that, my friends, is the amusing saga of a life of a clone. Carry on, fellow duplicates, carry on. Okay. Cloning, I see. This one the same or different? Seems... yeah, same thing. Same thing. Just making sure. Same thing. I'll reset my uh, FOV in a second here. I know it's... I hate it. I hate this FOV being so up close, but... Same stuff. One more. Just gonna check it to make sure. You never know. Same stuff. I lied. There's still one more. 
Okay, we're we're good. Much better. All right. Being a clone kind of sucks. What I got from that. Sure, why not? Hmm. A nice area. Really shooting at people, apparently. That's a military grade. Looks like a weapons crate. Where did they go? You don't think they were taken? Sidekick? Don't let them escape. Fools! You know not who you travel with! I'm sure we'll find a use for that sometime. Oh, Smythe's terminal. This is interesting. So this is the, the head guy, yeah? Smythe log one. Progress is stalling, and I'm beginning to lose my patience. It's astounding how one's own ambitions can be ham hampered by the incompetence of others. Time is of the essence, and yet here I am, stuck in a quagmire of mediocrity. Perhaps it's time to re reassess the team's capabilities. I cannot afford to be held back any longer. Tunnel cough. It's spreading like wildfire through the lower levels of the facility. The chaps need to implement stricter safety protocols and ensure that everyone is wearing their respiratory filters at all times. Can't have the workforce falling apart when there's important work to be done. Perhaps I should replace them. Yes, yes, that shall do it. Today marks the anniversary of Angel's discovery of the enigmatic green substance. Uh, the green substance, huh? As in FEV, is that what we're talking about? My understanding has deepened the experimental, the experiments yielding intriguing results, yet much remains unknown and cautious, caution continues to be the watchword. As I reflect on this milestone, I should remind myself to be vigilant, cognizant of the immense potential and profound risks this substance embodies. Here is to another year of exploration and enlightenment. Okay, hmm, interesting. Entry log about the exciting news. I have a new recruit joining us today. Fresh blood is always welcome to inject new ideas and perspectives into our projects. Let's hope this individual proves to be a valuable addition to the team. I must make sure they're properly briefed and integrated into their respective department. We have much to accomp accomplish together. What a splendid evening spent with my miniature patient's projects. Miniature? Hmm. These little figurines are becoming quite the masterpiece. The details are exquisite, if I do say so myself. It's a welcome reprieve from the situation of the outside world. Each stroke of the brush brings a sense of tranquility. Though I fear that I shall have to put this hobby of on the back burner for a while... There are far more important matters to deal with. No rest for the wicked. He's talking about his toy soldiers. For future me, I want to remind myself that as a, as I tread this precarious path, caution must be our guide. The consequences of mistake of misstep could be catastrophic. It's that time again. The nagging reminds me that I should 
probably utilize the gymnasium equipment to prolong my existence. The eternal struggle between the desire for eternal couch potato status and a nagging voice in the back of my head chanting, health is wealth. I mean, sure, the thought of being all swole does have its appeal. Really? Swole? Smythe? That's uh, whatever. But then reality kicks in. I am for far too busy and there is too much at stake and the snacks become overwhelmingly tempting. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll just do a few push-ups and call it a day. One has to start somewhere, yes? Over with. Okay, well that was not very enlightening. Other than just learning that Smythe is a weirdo. We knew that already. All right. This is, in fact, Smythe's area. I think there should be more tickets in that giant ticket thing. There is a bed here. I probably should go ahead and sleep. Smythe, you hiding back here? Nope, no Smythe. Yeah, I'll go ahead and sleep, I guess. Probably a really bad idea considering where we are, but the game lets us do it, so whatever. Uh, I need some water. Whatever, it's fine. Because, yeah, we're super tired already. Let's just sleep for, like, uh, 12 hours, so it's, like, 4 a.m. Should be fine. Should use some Rataway first, I guess, but oh well. Just have a couple of pumpkin pies, an entire protein can thing. It's definitely doing AoE damage because we're hitting quite a bit more like than what we see in Vatch, you know? This place seems abandoned, though, you know? I mean, maybe Smythe is around here somewhere, but this seems like it's maybe his, uh... His scientist compartment? I don't know. I mean, it seems like things went wrong here, you know? People here don't exactly seem like they're sane at all anymore. And the question is, where do we go? This way? Back the opposite way? There's a door over here, too. I 
Have I been over here? Maybe not. Does this work? Commencing scan. Welcome back, agent. Huh, it worked. Scanning complete. You can exit the thing now, dude. You can take your hand away. There you go. Good job. Got it. Good job. stuff. It looks a lot like FEV to me. But it's obviously not quite FEV because we're not making super mutants here. We're doing other stuff with it. Nope. Oh, new area. Okay. Whoa. A lot of rads. Jesus. I don't know why I just took so many rads there. It was weird. Somehow I think taking a dip down there would be a bad idea. There's like nothing here though. It's a very small separate area. Okay, um, what's down here then? Separate area similar to where I just went? Wait, is this the same area? What? It doesn't make any kind of sense. That does not make sense. Is that intentional or is it just weird? Because like, this is the, this is that door, right? Like, this doesn't make any sense. This door goes to that door somehow down there. It just doesn't. This doesn't work. In terms of physics, it doesn't work, man. That's so odd. Why is it like that? I don't think I've been through here yet. Okay, boardroom. I could just put this back to fusion cells too. It does do more damage when it uses fusion cells as opposed to the uh, fusion core. I do have a lot of fusion cells too. Uh, is there anything here? This all just seems to be uh, window dressing as they say, you know? Just stuff there to look interesting. I feel like I've explored the area, and, um... I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go here. Like, this goes back outside, right? This is gonna be a separate area. That I've already been through. Yeah, there's no way to go over here. Uh, I must be missing something because 
I don't see where I'm supposed to go here. Oh, over here? Um, this is a separate area. I haven't gone through a thing like this yet. Must be a separate area of the station. Do we go even further down? That might be the case. We're just on like the upper level. Um oh no, this just we just came back out. Okay. Well so what what did we find out? Okay, I haven't found what I'm looking for then because pretty sure I have to go back in, because like I still have the thing to explore over here. That's the exit. Probably how we're meant to go back out once we're done, but that's not everything. We definitely missed something. Let me look around a bit until I figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do here. What I'm missing. Ah, here we go. Another area. Just in a separate door here that I missed. Clone meat. Hmm. Here we go, another hand scanner. So for some reason, we technically are able to go through these areas. More clones? A lot more clones. There we go, got him. In an elevator. To go to the bottom. Seems like it. Need a snack. Not not clone meat though. Passing on that. That'll do. Just making sure. Going all the way down to the bottom, Going yeah. Not sure how hard they hit, but probably not wise to find out. Okay, I'll go over here in a second. I should probably check this area first. Came in over here, yeah. There's a terminal here. I should probably check. Initializing the VAT system. The green bioreactor fluid has been stabilized at optimal nutrient levels. Temperature and pH are within the desired ranges. Okay, information. 
monitoring system for irregularities. All systems are currently functioning within normal parameters. Next check scheduled for two hours. Note, the process has been started and the green goo looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. One is half expecting the theme from Constable Cruel to start playing. Either way, the genetic material is in. So is it just like um, goo that turns into clones, basically? That guy had talked about that at the previous station. Is that what they're using here? Mid-process check. Performing mid-process check on VAT system. Green bioreactor fluid remains stable. Progress is on track. Cellular differentiation is proceeding as expected. Okay... No anomalies detected, adjusting nutrient delivery to accommodate increased metabolic activity. Projected completion of phase two in six hours, continuing to monitor system. Note, mid-process mid check and everything is developing nicely. The green bioreactor fluid still looks like a Irish themed beer on steroids. Nutrient content is up, seems accelerated. No anomalies except for the suspiciously high caloric level of nutrients. This goo better not be fattening. Smythe. VAT development status. Finalized development process. VAT has reached maturity. Green bioreactor fluid parameters remain stable, preparing for extraction and stabilization. Extraction process initiated, VAT ready for final inspection and stabilization, post-extraction observation period set for 24 hours, all system report, normal operation. Note, finalizing everything soon, the green bio goo thing, thingy, note to self, make a concrete name, has done its job, no superpower levels of radiation detected yet, but fingers crossed. I'm trying to make... Something weird here. Superhumans, I'd say. Open. Yes. I can't do anything here. It's not working. There we go. Initiate the Piccadilly protocol. What are you? Super clone? Yeah, big big scary guys, alright. Uh Stop self destruct. I'm assuming we should They're not doing anything, though. They're just like... Okay. Kill the thing, shove your hand in. Uh-oh. Are we getting juiced up? Hey! Affliction cured. That's where we need to go to do that, finally. That was a long ass way. Oh, you survived. Of course, that wouldn't have worked. I do apologize. You aren't the average adversary. Fate is inescapable, isn't it? I must admit, I didn't quite think that plan through. It seems our fates are somewhat aligned. I'll never be rid of you. And that's just something I'll have to come to terms with. You want answers. I know you do. And you will get them. Let it be known. When we meet at the Palace of Westminster, all will be revealed. 
But I'm afraid I'll have to leave you once again. In my stead, have London. Explore her. Get a feel for her. And most importantly, be kind to her. It's yours, if you're willing to pay the price. Hmm. Well, that didn't really answer anything. So my affliction has been cured. That is a very slow one. Okay, gonna pass on that. So now we have a bit more health or a bit more damage? Probably more damage, right? I don't know. Seems the same as it was before. But we're officially cured. Although it wasn't really uh, particularly bad before. Gonna look around here a bit more before we leave. I don't really see anything of note here. Just vats like the one that we were in. Cloning vats, it seems. And they were making super clones. Very, very buff super clones. <laughs> Comically muscle-bound super clones, but they died quite quickly all the same. And there was a train that maybe Smythe left on before, uh... Yeah, before we got here. Maybe that was what he was doing, was evacuating. At least we got some adhesive for our troubles. Okay, I guess now we make our way out. So, Westminster is where he said we're supposed to go? Traverse the tube tunnel, and then get out of here. Okay. I'm going to end it here, guys. We'll get out of the tube tunnel here, and then see what's next in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.